Hold on. Okay, back at it again with part two of this video. CNC electronics repair and sales sales and repair. Whichever way you guys wanna say it, but we do both, so you know. Okay. So earlier I did have to stop and just finish taking out the power supply MOSFET. So now I'm gonna do some testing on this gate with this resistor right here and some diodes around the power supply section just to see if you have anything else burnt out. Alright, so my fluke here. Oh, normally, I'm not even aware I could put this so you guys can. Oh, nobody's seen it from there. Let me see something else. Nope, alright. That's good enough. Alright, so here should have some tin. Things 10, 10 ohms, gate register, let's see. Alright, 10 ohms. There should be another 10 ohms here. And this should be 10k. Yeah, which in the yeah, it's reading just about there, yep. And this is also. 10 ohms, right? Was that good? Ten ohms. Okay. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Go to the gate, of course. So that means this should be. Hmm. All right. So this is this one. Yeah, that's good. So something is not right here, which is I think is that goes. All right. So. Alright, we have one of these 10 ohms resistors that are burnt out and let me see it's resistor 84. Let me make sure. If this one is hmm R19 wow yep so it's resistor mm -hmm, 84 10 ohms yikes I wasn't expecting that, but let's see. Oh my goodness, man. Who plugged this out? Man, I think. Okay, oh well. Did I put it? Wow, 10R. Alright, here. Hey guys, are uh, yeah. I normally buy them like this. This is the best way to buy them, like, you know, in a bulk. Even value, you know, you don't know if you're ever gonna use, just buy them. You'll be surprised to know that they do. You know, you do sometimes. You don't know what is gonna go in these amplifiers sometimes. So I have 10 ohms here. I actually have like, these are really tiny SMDs. Surface mount resistor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I have 20 in stock. 
in this amperage i think this is half ohm half what half what i mean talking about half ohms half what yeah because they're really tiny all right so i'm gonna remove it and it's gonna remove from this one two three up here and that's it i think it says 84 so it's got to be this one and where my finger is pointing the first one the other one is a 10k so it's a 10 ohm resistor it's a gate resistor burnt out so see if i can remove this one now this side and point a little Okay, that's it. that's it. Let's see now. Aha. Uh -huh. So you test it to the Yeah, you guys are not seeing this proper product. Alright, so from this end to the gate of the possible MOSFET here yeah, that sh it should be like that. It wasn't doing that. I did have to put it on right here with the connection it may con con contact. Yeah, but when you go across the resistor, yeah, it was doing that like that one does, and like this one does. Hold on, which one is it here? Yeah, you have a bunch here. Hold on. Don't tell me when I'm gonna. Hold on. I don't think this one is going to. Oh my, hold on. So I go across it. Yeah, this one is also out. What the heck? <clears throat> right, let's use my little. It says 100 on it, so that's yeah. That's a 10 ohms. So there's a little code on it. If you see, like some people can see it, like if you see, the same if it says 100, that normally means it's a 10. 10 ohms on the SMD. If it's a 100 stamp on it, yeah, it's a 10 ohms. And if you see like 101002, that normally a 10k. Yeah, that's a little way of knowing them. So you yeah, know. Yeah. Okay. And you can also download a app. It will happen on the Play Store. I do a good job at that. I found out one. I found out some time ago, and it will do the calculation for you guys. Tell you exactly which one, what is what, so you don't, you know, so you don't have to go to like Google and do it. So, yep, you have a hub that you could have type the SND number in, and then it it will tell you what what it what it is, the value of it. I don't know why that one is beeping, but here has a lot. Fine right there, everything looks good right there. So you know get some parts to get them now. What's up my most fit? So I already told you guys I'm gonna use the IRF 1404.
IRF 1404. Okay, guys. This batch have only one left. And let me see this batch. I hate me, I tell you, man. I need eight. Can I find eight of this batch here? Oh, Lord, my God. Don't tell me I'm gonna use that batch to try so it to use. This batch, this batch of MOSFET is the worst. They suck. The one with that 77, yeah, it's so fake. So, uh, the only one I have left is them, and I will like, man, no, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use the IRF 3205, not these. <clears throat> better So the batch I'm going to use is the mm. right, the batch I'm going to use is this one here. This is the next best thing. It, it's a B9NO. Not as bad as that other one. So, see if I find eight of them. Four and four, eight. Whoa. Come on. 
know what's going on here. So these are the, uh oh, I have two different butts here, hold on, hold on, let's see, you know, alright, let's put out some, let's see, which one I have more of, and then when I come up with more, wow, you're kidding me, I have four different butts in here, oh my words, We'll see if I have eight of well which have a brand so I have one two Side is winning. Okay. You know. And then this here. So now, whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my words. Alright, I'm gonna just use this batch here. I have to right. put them in. Man, it's windy outside. Wish I could open the garage door, but I can't. Getting cold. Right, guys, I'm gonna show you the batch I used just now, which is not so bad. I feel a lot of fun. These this batch come inside as original, which I don't really buy. I'm gonna show you why I'm gonna make a video of some original trans you know what's fake what's on what fake what you can really use and which one you can't that won't stand up to a lot of heat and all that stuff. Yeah, from my experience I'm gonna make a video soon. So coming soon. There's a video on these MOSFET, these fake MOSFET you guys should watch out for. A lot of problem with companies from I buy parts from. Yeah, the picture hop and telling you what it is, and then tell, oh yeah, it works perfectly. It works just the same, and you know, till the data sheet matches up with everything. Nope, it doesn't. And I found out a lot of them, and I, I'm gonna expose them. You know, you can't be paid for stuff, and you know, 
you're gonna buy parts, I always tell them, oh, send me a picture of the batch you have now. And they would send, they would send, <laughs> they would copy the page of the ads they have up and tell me that it's consistent with it. And then, you know, when I got it, it's totally different. And then they talk, oh, it worked just the same. You know, like they take us for some dodo bird or, you know, or classy. These people, man, I tell them. These people. And I'm not gonna blame China either because even I buy parts from US here, I don't know where they, and they, they told me the same thing. Yeah, scam. The biggest scam I get, I ever got with electronic, not even electronic parts. I got it with a roll of solder wire and it's from the US, you know? These people, the Chinese, they refund you back and say, oh, they're sorry, but yeah, hell no. Then they tell her, oh, all type of stuff, you know, it's original, I don't know why it's not working for you, and you know, etc, etc. You know, they really take it for some dummy. Yeah, I buy a solder, a roll of solder wire from a company in the US, and it says it's been delivered. And I take like, can you imagine? I take like half an hour after it's delivered to go collect and when I go to the, the mailbox, it's not in my mailbox. And I contact the company and I say, hey, I didn't get it. They tell me to ask my neighbor. I ask my neighbor. Nobody knows about it. Nobody get anything. So I said, man, this scamming thing is really real, you know? What can it, you say? It, been delivered and you go the half an hour and then it's not there and then now I try to complain to them said you know go on eBay eBay talk to them tell them hey that happened it's okay they'll check it out a couple days after they take up the case they told me they can't really do nothing because it's and the package says it was it was delivered so I'm like wow Wow, wow, wow. So there's nothing they can do if it says been delivered. So it's like I'm the I'm the liar there. So I was like, okay. Okay. I got it. So I was like, okay. I'm the liar. Alright. Alright. Guys, I'm gonna stop this video and now I'm gonna stop them at like 15 or 20. And then I do another one. I did one another stretch, but yeah, it's taking a longer time than I expected. With the phone I have, yeah, I have to do that. So to like, yeah, charge it back and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna come back with the testing of it and let you guys see if it works or if it doesn't. Okay, but before we go, the batch of IRF 3205 I'm using the batteries P4K6 P4K6 it's not a bad one they could it can be used totally better than that 77 or oh, the 77 yeah that's a big one you know it's not that good all right so guys I'll be back part three